Hey, what's up? This is Ben from Wild Prep, and in this video, we're going to talk about rope climbing techniques, specifically the legless rope climb. Legless rope climbs are a very advanced movement because it's strictly using your upper body strength. So upper body and core strength are the two main things that you need, and obviously grip strength. This is hugely grip intensive. So there's a couple things that I want to talk about when it comes to technique. We're going to go over three main techniques. Uh, but before we get into that, let's talk about what the standard is. The standard legless rope climb, there's a few different standards. We've had people make a start from the ground before. There's sometimes where you're allowed to jump. There's sometimes where you're not allowed to jump. Just because of the space requirements here, I'm not going to tell you about everything. But the main thing is if you're doing legless rope climbs and you can jump, your goal is to jump as high as possible up the rope to start. So rather than just reaching up and starting your climb, what we want to do is we want to make the biggest jump possible. Okay, that's pretty obvious. But what do we actually do once we have that grip on the rope? Well, the first thing I want to mention is something called leverage. It's very important that you try to keep the rope as close to your body as possible. We don't want to lean back and let the rope get away from us. The reason being, if I told you to hold, let's say, a 30-pound weight, it's going to be a lot easier for you to hold that weight here than it is to hold the weight out here. So the farther this rope gets away from our body, and the more we lean back, that's more pressure that we're going to have on our grip, and it's going to make the rope climb harder. So that's the first thing is I want you to try to keep the rope nice and tight and avoid the temptation to lean way back and look up. We do need you to look up, but I don't want you to lean back because that's going to make the rope climb a lot harder. Next, when it comes to actually climbing up the rope, there's three main techniques that I like to teach. Number one is just the strict legless rope climb, and it looks like this. All I'm doing is I'm simply using my hands and nothing else to climb the rope, okay? <laughs> it's very difficult because we're not using any sort of momentum. We're not using our legs at all. Our legs literally just dangle down by our side and we're just going hand over fist and you're trying to keep that rope close and climb up the rope. Fairly simple. However, if we want to make it a little bit easier, the method that I suggest is the running legless rope climb. And what I mean by that is as we're climbing up the rope, I want you to think about kicking your knees. So as your knee comes up, that's the momentum. You have your knee come up on the, on the bottom hand, and then that's the momentum you use to reach up. And then I'd switch, my other knee would come up, that momentum helps switch my bottom to the top. So it looks like this. Okay. You gotta be careful coming down these ropes. You don't wanna have what I have, which is a long tail end, because I have seen people break their ankles coming down the rope, be careful. So, I'm mainly focusing on going up. Uh, I have an entire video on YouTube about how to get down the rope, and that applies to legless rope climbs as well, as long as there's no standard of actually coming down legless. We're not gonna cover all of that. But, as you can see, what I was doing is, as I climbed, I brought one leg up, and that helped me have the momentum to reach from bottom and reach it to the top. And that's our goal, is to run our legs. I'll do it one more time for you. So I'm gonna run my legs up, and that's what gives me the momentum to get up that rope as quickly as possible. It's important you want to climb as quickly as possible because that reduces your time under tension. The more time I'm holding onto this rope with my body weight, without my legs on it, it's gonna absolutely smoke your grip and it's gonna make you exhausted. So again, I'm not jumping on purpose because I would probably jump out of frame, but imagine I jumped as high as I could possibly get. I have my hands about right here. I don't want to get all the way fully extended. I want to try to keep my hands at about head height. If you can even keep them like this, you're stronger here than you are here. Okay, that's another important note. But from this position, I'm kicking my legs or I'm running my legs up. And that allows me to, that allows me to climb the rope. So keep that, keep your hands as close as possible. Try not to get, let them get high and away from you. We want to try to keep them close right in front of your face. And then I'm kicking aggressively with my legs. Now, if you've done a lot of legless rope climbs, you realize that that technique will probably fatigue. And there'll be a moment in time where you just can't quite move that fast. Okay, your, your grip's fatigued, you're not holding on very well. And you might have to go to what I call panic mode. Panic mode is a kipping 
legless rope climb, and it looks like this. It's probably something that you've seen. I also see it with people, they get most of the way up the rope, and then they have to do one or two final kips to get that final reach up to the top. Or if you're completely smoked, you might have to do this from the get-go. Again, I've jumped as high as possible on the rope. And then from here, a lot of times when you're in panic mode, you can't really hold the rope here. You're too fatigued. So you might be holding it with your arms pretty much locked out. And then what I'm doing is I'm kipping, I'm bringing both feet through and up, and that helps me reach that bottom hand up to the next reach. It looks like this. So I'm here and up, 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 up. And as you can notice, when I'm doing that, I'm reaching way farther. When we're doing that running technique, your, your grip and your reach stays pretty tight. So it's reach, 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 reach. And you'll probably have to do a few more grabs. When we're doing this kipping one, the goal is to get as big as reach as possible because we want to get off this rope as soon as possible. So again, it looks like this. I have my grip. Chances are when you get into this position, you're not going to have the rope here. You're going to have you're, you're not going to have your hands here. You're going to have your hands a little bit higher. And I'm bringing my feet through, and that's what allows me to get my reach. Okay? So we've talked about three different techniques for climbing the rope. Number one, you have just the fully strict legless rope climber. You're not using your legs at all. If you have great upper body strength and grip, you might be able to do that. My personal favorite is the running legless rope climb. That's where we're we're kind of monkeying our way up by lifting a knee and that's causing us to be able to create that reach. And then we have the panic mode, the slower version, but this is a version that's more accessible to most people. And that's the kipping legless rope climb. If you can practice all three of those, figure out which one works for you. Pay special attention to where you're gripping it. Are you able to keep your grip nice and tight and close to your face? Or are you trying to use one of the techniques but you're keeping your arms extended? It's way harder that way. So play around with that. Play around with which version you like to use. And then remember, the closer you keep that rope to your body, the less issues you're gonna have with leverage. The farther away that rope gets from your body, it's gonna make it a lot heavier, or it's gonna make you a lot heavier, and it's gonna fatigue your grip. So with that being said, I hope that you learned at least a little bit about legless rope climbs. If you can't do any legless rope climbs, then chances are we wanna scale down to normal rope climbs, and we also wanna work on our grip strength and our pulling strength. Once you can do a lot of strict pull-ups and you have really, really good grip strength, that is normally when I see people with the ability to do legless rope climbs. And remember, please be careful. If that rope is laying on the floor at all and it's not properly sized, ideally we want the rope to be cut off right about here so that it's not anything that we can land on with our feet. But if your rope is laying on the ground like mine is, be especially careful coming down. I've seen so many people come down and roll their ankles and even break them because they have a rope tail on the ground. We do not want that. So with that being said, I hope that you like this video. If you want more rope climbing techniques, I actually have a rope climbing course inside our Wad Prep Academy membership. If you wanna get access to that, go to wadprep.com academy. If you want some free training on other CrossFit skills, go to wadprep.com, enter your name and email. There's a little drop down box. You get to choose any movement and I will send you free training on that movement. With that being said, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, be sure to smash the subscribe button so that you don't miss any more videos like this. And then I will see you in the next video. But wait, 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 quick question of the day. For those who have tried legless rope climbs, which one of the three techniques have you found works best for you? Leave a comment below and let me know, and I'll see you in next week's video.